Hello, my name is Daryl Hendricks and I am the Business Development Manager for Robotics at PowerMation. And what I would like to show you today is using a Doosan Collaborative Robot with an on-robot sander to do a simple blended moves application for sanding. So first thing that we will want to do is add an end of arm tool. In this case, I already had an on robot defined, but I will show you a little bit more about that. There is a output signal. In this case, I'm just using the controller output. We can also set up the tool center position. So if you know what it is, you can type that in, or we have an auto calculation where we can move it to four different reference points. And as we move it, we hit get pose on all these different points and it will do the auto calculation. But for our purposes here, we know what the, uh, the Z difference is, so we will just type that in. Now in our new task, we will add the sander and the sander weight. We will give our new task a name. And what you will see here is in our main sub of the task, you can set it up to run a certain number of counts or infinite loops. Also, you have the ability to set up the task global velocity. And you'll see that the rotational velocity for the joint moves correlates to the translational velocity, in which case here you can also just type in, for my purposes, I'll just type in 1000. So now what we'll do is these are the different moves types that we will use. We will move a move JX, which is a joint move in the XYZ coordinates. And you can actually hit get pose, you could hand guide, or you can manually jog X uh, plus minus Y plus minus wherever you would like to go. We also do have the move command. With the move command, I can hit reset and it will reset the values to where the robot is currently sitting. And then you can edit those values to whatever you would like and then move to that new pose. We also have the ability to, under the set routine, to make our Z axis and our tool line up with the base axis. It's a very nice feature. After you've done with the jogging, you can hit get pose and now you'll have your, your values. And you'll always want to hit confirm. And once you hit confirm, you'll notice that the line turned to darker green, meaning that it's been completed. So here what we are adding is a blended move. And a blended move allows you to do linear and circular moves and apply a radius to the blend to get all those different motions in a nice smooth manner, which will be a constant speed throughout the move. And just like everything else, you can get the pose. And in this case here, I'm just gonna use the same pose that I had for the first one but just adjust my Z height to 35. I can move the robot to that position. And then now I start my blended moves and I can add a linear or circular and at each move that you add, you can edit them individually. Or if you know, I'm gonna add two more circular moves and one more linear move, you can add those and then edit them individually. So you can jog like we did before, or if you'll see up at the top here, I will hand guide the robot. And the Doosan has a nice hand guide feature. There's a button on top of the robot that you hit. It puts it into a free drive mode. You move the robot, then you hit get pose. And now here you can also adjust your values individually because hand guiding will get you very close to where you need to be but probably not exactly where you need to be now a circular move the way the circular move works is that we have 
a start position, which is the move that you were just at. And then that's your first position in your move C. The second position in your move C is going to be the end position of your circle. So we always have two segments in a move C. And it's very easy to just say that, okay, as you're hand guiding, you'll get the position, but then you will actually type in, in this case for here, for the Z, I would type in 35 millimeters every time because it's unlikely that hand guiding, you're gonna get it exactly where you want. And the blend radius does not have to be the same for every move. You can change them as needed. Um, I am just making all mine the same distance. And lastly, we'll finish up with the move L, move linear. And if you have your part out there and your tool on it, the hand guiding is a very nice feature because you can follow the path that you would like to take. And you can add as many move L's and move C's as you would like. For this application, I'm also going to select a local speed. So the speed will be different for the move B than it will be for the other moves. A nice feature that we have here is we can run it in a virtual mode to let the simulation show us what the robot path will be like so that we can run the application before we know if we're going to run into anything or if there's any faults in the, the, the program. It's a nice feature to be able to run it before you actually do it in the real world. Then it's a simple matter to just click real mode and hit play. Okay, and this is what you will see. Now I'm not operating the sander at this point, but I will show you something here in the next segment. Now what we will do is we're going to add force control. So with the force control, we add in two more commands, compliance and force. And for compliance, we just turn it on. And you can set the stiffness of the compliance. You have that option as well. And the settling time, you know, before it moves on to the next move. The force, what uh, direction or what force. So here I'm going to type in 30 Newtons and what direction. In my case, it would be Z direction. And we have a relative mode here, which actually makes it a little bit more accurate because it um, it takes out any of the um, external forces that might be generated. And then lastly, with uh, the force command, we also turn compliance off and we turn force off at the end. So then we're back into regular robot motion. And now for this uh, video, I actually have different coordinates, but you'll see that the uh, robot can do polishing as well as sanding. And being able to control the force directly with the robot means that you do not have to buy an external force control sensor. So that was a simple showing of how to do blended moves with force control using the on-robot sander and the Doosan controller. I appreciate your time and feel free to call us at Powermation if you have any questions regarding robotics. Thank you.